Rick here, hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. This is the first of this type of video I've done for quite a while. Um, uh, and I apologize for the delay. Um, I moved to a new place and basically it's taken me ages to get the new kind of shooting setup done. The lighting has been a pain in the ass to get right. Uh, it's just one of those things. So it's taken me ages to get things sorted, but I think it's working quite well now, so uh, be prepared for lots more videos to come. Um, anyway, we're going to talk about economy picking for speed today. I uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, little flurry of notes at the start. So I'm just going to explain exactly what I'm doing there uh, in terms of both the right and left hands. Um, and this is a perfect example of the kind of thing that I use just to kind of add a bit of tension in a solo or to build tension, you know, with using speed, um, especially when ascending through uh, a sequential pattern or a scale or arpeggio or whatever. Um, so we're going to take a look at that. Um, even though I'm using economy picking, as always, you don't have to use economy picking. This is pretty much what I do with this type of uh, sequence and pattern. Uh, but you can apply whatever picking pattern you want to this. So let's get cracking, shall we? <laughs> I've missed saying all this stuff. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start in the key of D minor. We're going to do like a D minor pentatonic thing, three note per string. So make sure you're au fait with all, all of those shapes. I'm pretty sure if you're watching this kind of thing, um, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, Basically, it's where we get two uh, a standard minor pentatonic shape and play two shapes at the same time to give us three notes per string. What we're going to do is ascend through this using a particular pattern, but it follows the, pi the picking pattern kind of dictates what I'm playing here. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to start with the downstroke and we're going to play 10, 15, 13. Okay. So it goes down, up, down. And then we're going to go to the next string. So we're going to still, in, it's all D minor pentatonic. Okay. Then we're going to go down to the index finger. Okay. So that's the actual basic pattern that we're going to shift through um, sets of strings. Shift. Down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. And then when we're here, it starts the pattern that we played here. It's just a repetition of the same pattern. Okay, see what I mean? Let me do that slowly. In fact, actually, what we're going to do here is play through three strings rather than just two before we get the shift. And this is where we get the shift on the G string here. So let me play that again. Down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, down, up, down, down. So this part allows us to, to use economy picking through uh, the A, D, and G strings. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, shift. Okay, and we get the same thing. Okay, and that's across three strings. Okay, be careful of this one. This is a bit of a challenge to get the position shifts. Whoops. Okay, so don't mess up like I just did then. <laughs> so be sure to get. It's, it's the index finger here that really will dictate the shape that you play. So what I do is tend to focus on the movement of the index finger. Okay, once we're here, we do the shift again. So let me play this, that whole ascending pattern for you. Okay, good, we're right at the top here at fret 17. Now we're gonna go straight to 22. 
we get this pattern. And it, we're using uh, bars here. Up, up, down, down, up, 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 down. Okay, so I'm gonna do it from here. Okay, so picking pattern. Up, up, down, down, up, 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 down. Then we're gonna shift down here to fret 14. Sometimes I actually hit that note, sometimes I hit that note. It doesn't really matter. Depends how I'm feeling when I play the lick. You know, you, you can add notes, take notes away, it's up to you. So from here, shift with an upstroke, then we get down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, up. That's, that's it, sorry. Okay, so that's again, bollocks. Okay, then we're gonna shift down to the uh, uh, it's A minor arpeggio here. Following the same kind of idea, you know? And we finish with this, which basically is, is the five of D minor, so A7. Okay, uh, and that takes us that back to the D beautifully. Okay, so all together, nice and slowly. Okay, that's the entire lick. Like I said before, um, you don't have to play this lick at, you know, note for note. What I used to do is literally, I'd do it, you know, learn licks, but then completely change them or, or at least mess them up. That's what I used to do. And kind of that would lead me into something that was kind of um, uniquely, you know, my kind of thing. Because uh, I added my mistakes in there. So, you know, I really encourage you to kind of, you know, take little sections of them, change them around, change it all around. Do you, you know, morph it into something else. Um, so this is just like a, a template for you to do whatever you want with, you know. And that's, that's the great thing about these kind of ideas, you know, use your own creativity. Uh, just before I finish, make sure you head on over to my website, check out all my downloadable content there. There's a ton of stuff. Uh, and it's a great way to support what I do. So um, head on over, links are in the description box below. All right guys, hope you've enjoyed this video and I will catch up with you real soon. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.